নমস্কার আমি ক্যামেলিয়া মন্ডল রায় আর মার্টিন পড়ে আমি জেন্ডার থিওরি শিখেছি আমি কোয়ার থিওরি শিখেছি এবং আমি সেক্সুয়ালিটি স্টাডিজ নিয়ে শিখেছি এল জি বিটি কিউ কমিউনিটি নিয়ে আমি অনেক তাত্ত্বিক কথাবার্তা শিখেছি নমস্কার জোকস আ পার্ট আই মিন আই মিন ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক টু আওয়ার কন্টিনিউয়েশন উইথ 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 জেন্ডার স্টাডিজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি আই ওয়াজ ভেরি ডিস্টার্বড বাই দ্য ওয়ে ওয়ে মিডিয়া কভার্স দিস মাধ্যমিক অ্যান্ড উচ্চ মাধ্যমিক অ্যাসপিরেন্স অ্যান্ড অ্যান্ড ক্যাপিটালিজম ট্যাপস দেম অ্যান্ড দ্য পাবলিশিং হাউসেস ট্যাপস দেম সো আই ওয়াজ স্লাইটলি ক্রিটিক্যাল অফ দ্য মিফট এনিওয়ে সো ও হোয়াট জুডিথ বাটলার ইজ থিওরাইজিং বেসিক্যালি রুথ ভেনিটা ইজ প্র্যাকটিসিং অ্যান্ড অ্যান্ড আই উড বি টকিং এ লট অ্যাবাউট অ্যাবাউট হিন্দু মাইথোলজি অ্যাবাউট ইন্ডিয়ান মাইথোলজি অ্যাবাউট ইন্ডিয়ান স্পিরিচুয়ালিটি লেট স্টার্ট উইথ বুদ্ধিজম বুদ্ধদেব গৌতম বুদ্ধ লর্ড বুদ্ধ ও লেফট হোম সো দিস ডিপার্চার ফ্রম হোম ইজ এ মার্ক অফ লিবারেশন ফ্রম ডোমেস্টিসিটি অ্যান্ড দে আর বাই হেটর নর্মেটিভিটি সো দেয়ার ইজ এ ট্রিমেন্ডাস কুয়ার পোটেনশিয়ালিটি অ্যাবাউট অ্যাবাউট লর্ড বুদ্ধ and i i would i would be talking about this delinking of of uh, love uh, from marriage and delinking marriage from love and and this politics or this nexus between love and marriage uh, by the end of this uh, upload now judith butler has been talking about uh, performative uh performativity of gender performativity of uh, gender identities now this performance is very similar to what we call in indian myth maya or illusion uh something that we think exists but it actually doesn't it actually it has never ever existed in the first place so i find our very uh, uh, concept of uh, sex and gender is very much predicated on maya we all think it to be incredibly important i mean let me share a bit of an anecdote and there was a girl well who came rushing to the, to her mom and say mom 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 what is sex and the mother started perspiring and and and, and and she called up her husband said dad 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 what is sex and the dad was nervous mom and dad they are looking into each other's eyes both of them incredibly nervous uh, they would die of heart attack almost and then said why are you asking no i have to know what is sex i need to know what is sex but by the way why are you asking why are not you asking what the hell sex is because i have a form to fill up where there is a what's your name what's your father's name what's your mother name and what's your sex oh no so so we build up uh they kind of a an illusion a kind of a maya a kind of a performativity about sex and gender and then we develop our identities on the basis of those maya which we develop and which had never ever existed in the first place but next question is why do we have these mayas in place now let's blame it on the 19th century west europe so why are you blaming 19th century west europe because something very interesting happened in the 19th century west europe what interesting happened because the different kinds of identities were being visibilized at the level of discourse 
so that they could be cured, they could be medicated, they could be medically attended to and they could be uh, treated. And that's why they kept discovering one disease after the other. They discovered homosexuality, they discovered all kinds of uh, uh, homophobic discourses. And then they started paying therapeutic attention, medical attention, legal attention to those discourses. So this is how homosexuality as a discourse came prior to heterosexuality as a discourse. So homosexuality in that sense is senior to heterosexuality because it came earlier, it came first. It had to be invented earlier so that it could be cured earlier. And then when it is cured, then the shustho manush is becoming heterosexual. So heterosexuality is the recovered, the cured human. And from which uh, has he been cured? The disease a kind of a purging disease called homosexuality. Now this is exactly why I think sex and gender both are performative and something that Judith Butler has called performativity or performance but something that we in Indian mythology, in Indian culture calls a kind of maya or illusion. Now since spirituality Let's talk a little bit about spirituality because often, you know, uh, uh, I mean, I get accused of having discussed uh, uh, about sex and gender too much. I say sex, I say sex, I say gender, I say sexuality, I say gender and sex, like people say good morning, good evening, and good night. So, now, why? Because I only talk about sex by never talking about it. No, this is exactly the society does. The society never, never, never allows that. Why? Because society only talks about sex by never talking about it. And hi, whenever you talk about sex and gender, society says, Shh, Asti, Shh. And that that hush creates what Foucault calls incitement to discourse, kind of further encouragement into its discursive productivity. So we produce curiosities by way of hushing it. So that's why I said society only talk about sex, sex, sex by never talking about it. And what do I do? I only I never talk about sex by only talking about it and therefore let's talk a little bit about spirituality because people do not associate me talking about spirituality now since spirituality disregards body so therefore spirituality is incredibly queer now why is spirituality queer because spirituality denies essence, denies metaphysics of substance, metaphysics of essence. So since spirituality denies body, so obviously it is denying all kinds of imputed marks that divides man, woman, human identities on the basis of gender and sex. And therefore, Ruth Venita basically destroys the binary between heteronormativity and queer and what happens therefore heterosexuality even has the potentiality of queer yes you heard me heard me right even heterosexuality is heterosexuality queer it very much is now let's shift our focus uh, back to oh, bharatiya samaskriti now, we often talk about uh, Lord Krishna, we talk about Radha, we talk about Radha and Krishna. Now, who are they? 
who are they radha and krishna were they couples were they husbands and wives no they were not husbands and wives but you worship them so who is lord krishna lord krishna is an incredible mythological symbol of how marriage could be delinked from love and how love could be delinked delinked separated from marriage why am i saying this because patriarchy loves this link between marriage and love and love and marriage basically patriarchy loves this marriage between marriage and love and why because krishna and radha are married couple isn't it aren't they no they are not they have never been but worship them so what do you worship we worship in india this delinking this queer potentiality of delinking between marriage and love and this is exactly why we see vishnu's avatar of mohini and then the queer relationship with krishna and this is exactly we see arjun as brihannola dance teacher and the dance student falling in love with the gendered performative of brihannola arjun and this is exactly why we see in shrimad bhagavad gita the beautiful romantic relationship between arjun and krishna and our entire epics literary epics and primary epics are absolutely choco block with this queer non heteronormative non conformist examples of gender and sexual identities and that's why we worship lord krishna and radha together because they are married couples right good because they are married couples and one more thing often say people say that these homosexualities these lesbianism these gender these gay studies and these are american academic imports into indian academia wow really really so krishna and radha they are celebration of love outside marriage so they are a classic example of how love could be delinked from marriage so that's why it's a celebration of friendship and krishna and radha i uh, know krishna is from chicago and radha is from new york city right yes they are imported from america vishnu as mohini falling in love with krishna so vishnu is from say southern california right and krishna and arjun the romantic relationship the tremendous queer potentiality yes shrimad bhagavad gita was written in california yes gita was published in manhattan yes very good so krishna radha they are all american myths and gita ramayana mahabharata they were they were all published in uh, in southern california or say in in broadway or off of broadway fine they are all imported from america congratulations and that's why indian culture have always already been queer and indian epics and mythological narratives and folklores they have always already been queer good night we'll meet you soon stay home stay safe and take care bye